my name is Kimberly Carter, and I'm going to tell you the story of Diane Bowerman. The following detailing of events is as told to me by Miss Bowerman. Diane was madly in love with a man named Matt Nickel. She was practically his puppy and did everything to keep him. When Matt's drug use reached the depths of her despair, she thought she could love him through it and everything would get better. No matter how many bruises were left on her body, she doted on him and knew he didn't mean to go that far. The drunken night he never came home, but rather stayed with other women, she would still come to his rescue the next morning, knowing she was the one he really loved. When he battered and humiliated her in front of their friends during house parties, she waited for him to calm down, knowing deep down he didn't have any other way of showing his love. After seven years of loving Matt so much that she would put up with anything, believing his apologies and vows of never hurting her again. After seven years of loving Matt so much that she would go to any lengths to keep him, he decided he was leaving her for another woman. Life was over as Diane knew it. She was desperately hurt. The pain was so unbearable, she became consumed with thoughts of hurting Matt. How could he leave her in such agony after all she had done for him? She even put him through treatment twice, so he would be better. How could he abandon her for someone else after all the physical, emotional, and psychological scars? she allowed him to inflict upon her. He was supposed to get better and love her unconditionally for her unwavering support. Being deeply consumed by these thoughts, Diane began telling people she wanted Matt hurt. She wanted to pay somebody to do the deed. Seeing Diane's hurt, her friend offered that her boyfriend Hutch would hurt Matt. Diane and Hutch had known each other for months. A plan was put into motion and Matt was killed. Experiencing the deepest hurt Diane has ever felt, she coped with the pain of all Matt had done to her by making the most extreme decision a human being could make. This decision cost Matt his life, which devastated everyone who loved him and landed Diane a life without parole sentence, which she is still serving 38 years later. Throughout her daily life in prison, Diane has had to deal with countless disrespectful attitudes from people who have no concept of respecting their elders. Yet, throughout serving her sentence, she has consistently worked and maintained many positions of trust. For instance, she currently works in one of two unit linen, linen rooms. She dispenses clean laundry, ensures no one steals from the linen room, and sees to it that there is no more than one person in this linen room at a time. Prior to this, Diane worked as a drafter at Correctional Industries. <laughs> there was a high level of trust placed upon Diane while she worked as a drafter. She was assigned her own desk and computer and was expected to devise the blueprints for buildings and furniture designs. In addition, Diane has also worked for the Prison Pet Partnership Program and a company called Inside Out. During Diane's employment with the Prison Pet Partnership Program, she was entrusted with not only caring for a rescue dog, but also training her assigned rescue animal for service work. This type
topic of training includes teaching her rescued pooch how to help someone in a wheelchair by picking up something they may have dropped and also teaching them to serve as companions to someone who may need a therapy pet. Anyone who is in prison for hurting a child or an animal is swiftly and automatically excluded from employment with the Prison Pet <laughs> Partnership Program. While working at Inside Out, Diane spent her days producing at a sewing machine. She had a quota of clothing items she was to produce each day. To work here, Diane needed special clearance due to this job site being located outside of the normal fenced-in confines where inmates must dwell. Throughout Diane's 38 years of traversing her life sentence, she has been a trusted, reliable employee and prides herself on doing the right thing. Maintaining upstanding behavior, Diane has never received a violent infraction. As a matter of fact, many of the jobs she has maintained require infraction-free behavior. Sadly, the only instance of violence in Diane's life is the one that was in response to years of accumulated relationship abuse and cost someone their life in Diane a life sentence. Her only act of violence also incorporates the utter despair of having her heart broke in such a cruel way, of being thrown away like a piece of trash after having given her all and having put up with all. Reacting to the psychological trauma and her unbearable pain in the most extreme way imaginable cost both Matt and Diane the most tragic of consequences. Diane is not a violent person, yet her lone act of violence, occurring nearly 40 years ago, has somehow defined her whole life. What she has learned at 71, after this horrific tragedy, as well as being robbed of the joy of never being able to experience motherhood, is that when someone you love chooses drugs and alcohol, and the lifestyle that comes along with them, there's no way she will ever be able to fix the person as she once believed in her heart she could do with Matt. Having lived into her 70s, she has aged out of the passion that relationships like hers and Matt's bring. Yet, being no danger to society, here she is, elderly and forgotten about in prison. As an aside, Diane's case has been featured on several talk shows to include Geraldo Rivera, Sally Jesse Raphael, Northwest Afternoon, and Maury Povich. There has also been three books written about her case. If Diane's story is one that has intrigued you, she can be contacted through Securus. Her contact information is Diane Bowerman, DOC number 938-118. This is Kimberly Carter at the Washington Correction Center for Women. If this podcast has sparked an interest in carceral issues, Please watch my four-part podcast mini-series entitled Prison Overcrowding and Potential Solutions. And don't forget to like and subscribe.